What's going on? Rob Fish here from BikeBandit.com, and I got a little test for you. Name three Japanese helmet companies. I bet you can only name two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keep thinking. Okay, stop thinking. I can see your head smoking from here. That's not even funny. This is Kabuto. And you might know them as OGK. They are the third Japanese helmet company. This is awesome. They've been in business since the 40s, and they've gone through a couple name changes. Went from OGM to OGK to OGK Kabuto, and now just Kabuto. In Japanese, Kabuto is, think of like the Samurai's helmet. You remember with all the little plates on it, and it kind of goes down? That is a Kabuto. And this is their flagship helmet. Absolutely awesome. It is called the FF5V, basically. Full face, fifth generation. What you have in this is an amazing thing. Let's just right off the bat, let's go extra small through 2X. Okay, so a nice broad size range of it. And you've got two solid colors. You've got a flat black and a pearl white. The pearl white, by the way, is awesome. And you can actually, this will be like a pearl white base underneath here, and I'll spin it for you in a second and bring it close. And then you've got three graphics. Uh, one's a replica. This is the Viento, and another one that's kind of a black white, pretty bitchin' scheme called the Works. And what you need to know is that is the flagship. All the technology, no holds barred. The, again, there's a quick little 360 for you. Mm, 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 mm. And everything you're expecting from a flagship helmet. Or, I mean, wind tunnel tested, and it's not only DOT 2010, but it's Snell, and it's ECE 2205, and all the safety certifications, uh, you know, accepted around the globe. And it's everything that you would expect from the Premier from Kabuto. It is a composite shell, so you've got what they call hyperglass, so it's basically a fiberglass and then also a composite of synthetic materials in there as well. So it's incredibly, incredibly strong, but very, very light. You'll notice, obviously, that's an aggressive shape because that is full-blown a road racing helmet. Full-blown, I mean, no holds barred. Huge vents, which we'll take a deeper look into. You can see this massive spoiler on the back, and what they've done I'm not even going to hold back. I mean, it's pin lock. It's cool max on the inside. With a graphic, it's under 500 bucks. Mm-hmm. Now, now you're paying attention. Mm-hmm. Good students. Good students. Take a look at the size of those intake vents on the, on the snout there. You got, obviously, the two big ones up here, because this is going to be your main ventilation. Really easy, just basic controls, slide forward and backwards. And your exhaust vents are these here on the back. Boom and boom. And again, just slides forward and back. What's the beauty is your intake vents, remember it's not shoving air in the front and then shoving it out the back. This is creating a huge, huge vacuum, right? Almost like a Venturi in a draw. So your exhaust vents actually have two holes in the EPS liner underneath. Is it a dual density EPS liner? Yes, but we'll go into that. So you're basically exhausting and suction out here, and this is just the release of the vacuum. It's as easy as that. You have, obviously, just left to right, very, very broad chin vent across, and even in the back of the neck roll, you've got exhaust vents. This thing breathes like a champ. This is our, our, our sample, just for this video, so we can bring it up, up uh, you up to speed. I own, I personally own this helmet. I've seen, I've been in the industry a long time, I've seen lots of technology, and I personally own this exact same helmet. Not this size, because I couldn't get my head in this, but just saying. This thing is awesome. When we talk about composite shell, we talk about the ventilation. What they've done, and now this is going to be kind of cool, and it's going to be a little tricky on the camera to see it, but they use obviously a wind tunnel. Now here's the difference, ready? A lot of companies use wind tunnels for motorcycles, or they use them for cars. Kabuto tests in a wind tunnel that's meant for a jet, people. Just saying. I don't want to say people as if I'm yelling at my students, but this is, this is a, a worthwhile piece to really pay attention to. What you have is, this is your ventilation wing up top here, right? And of course, this is a outer shell because you can't have anything permanently affixed to the helmet in a crash scenario that one would snag and two can't be basically destroyed and braked off. By the way, Kabuto offers a crash policy. It's a test, you know, case by case basis, but you can present them to uh, to them your helmet, and they 
we'll figure out at that point, hey, this is what we can do for you, et cetera, et cetera. But they can learn a lot from a crashed helmet in a crash scenario. And now with everybody running a GoPro and track photographers, et cetera, they can actually compile a lot of information and even make a better, stronger, safer, lighter, better venting helmet, et cetera. But those wake stabilizers are kind of a rear fin, but for almost the side of the helmets. So as you, what causes buffeting, what causes your head to go like this, is not wind over the top. It's actually the wind that wraps around, and that's what creates the turbulence, and it wiggles your head this way from the back. Science, baby. It's just science. Glad you're paying attention. So what you have with those dynamic wake stabilizers is as the wind is wrapping around, it's combining with this airflow, and it actually pushes the helmet down onto your head. It makes it just that much more stable. This thing is so well thought out, it's, it's scary. It's scary, but it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay, let's dive in more to the front of the helmet. Obviously, you have, it's gonna come with a clear shield. It is pin lock ready. So you have those anti-fog inserts uh, that, that can be obviously you know, purchased separately. Don't forget to put that in your shopping cart. And uh, what that does obviously in cold weather environments when it's hot and your breath is hot from the inside of the helmet and it's cold in outside ambient temperature, Yes, it's optically correct. Yes, it's UV resistant. Yes, it's scratch resistant, but it's also pin lock capable. So if that's your, you know, your take, hey, not a problem. The easiest shield release system ever. You put the shield all the way up and you push that button. And as you push that button, it's as easy as that. I mean, it's so well engineered, it, it is, it's almost scary because then to put it back in is obviously, boom, that's it, just a click. Mm, mm, mm. So well done. So well done. Love this. Okay. We're going to talk about, obviously, a very, very pronounced neck roll. There is obviously a seam here because this cheek pad obviously is replaceable. So let's say, for instance, um, I like an obnoxiously tight helmet. Uh, so what I've done is I bought a helmet to fit my head and then I went one size down in the cheek pads to even make it more snug. And remember, when you buy a brand new helmet, of course, use the size chart. It's done on the typical basis. 57, 58 is a medium, 59, 60 is a large, et cetera, et cetera. Please use the size chart. But I just like an obnoxiously tight helmet. Easy to swap out the cheek pads and really customize that fit. It is totally cool max done. Right? So that's obviously no funk, no stinky, uh, antimicrobial, moisture wicking. It, there's a lot of technology into this. For you to be able to put this in your gear bag at this price point is not, is not logical. In your, your mind, you're thinking, well, how could it be? It is. It is so. We're bikebandit.com. This is how we do it. We talked about the shell construction. We talked about the venting. We talked about dynamic air stabilizers. We talked about pin lock. We talked about how badass that graphic is. That's the Viento. And for those of you who are watching my videos, what's the fastest color combination? Black, white, and red. Black, white, and red with a little bit of silver in the accents. Those silver accents do, they're kind of pixelated and they transition from like a solid dark gray to a lighter gray coming through. This is called the Viento, by the way. This thing is so awesome. I, I, I hope I've brought you up to speed. Been doing it since the 40s, so they got a lot of practice. Mmm! Just makes me excited. It makes me excited to bring you this info. And again, ready? We have, I think it's 8 million parts that we offer as BikeBandit.com. And when we can choose our own personal gear bag from a lot of things, that's actually what I'm running. That's my choice. Not to say that I'm the wisest, but I've seen a lot of this stuff in this industry. And this is a worthwhile investment, and I recommend it to you. Boom. Easy as that. You can put it in your shopping cart. You know we're going to ship it for free. Size exchange is obviously super easy, et cetera, et cetera. This thing is just a little bundle of awesome, and you deserve it. So what you should do, like I said, add it to your shopping cart. Make sure if you want to, you can grab an extra shield. You can grab a pin lock. Whatever works for you, you know best. It's as easy as that. If you have questions, never hesitate, ever. From the home page, of course, you can grab our support link. That takes you straight to the sales department. They'll answer any questions you got. Pick up the phone and call us. Send us an email, whatever's easiest for you. I'm Rob Fish. We're bikebandit.com, and we love you. So you should like us. 
Mm -hmm. That's right, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. From Kabuto, the FF5V, and this is the Viento graphic. You deserve it. Do it now. <laughs>